What's up everybody? Hi YouTube. My name's Adam. I'm a leasing expert and I'm making this video today to show you and take you along as I take this 2018 Honda Accord that's on lease to CarMax, sell it, make a profit, and then go pick up a new Honda Accord from the Honda dealership, hopefully for the similar same price, money in pocket, new car, same monthly payment as before. The used car market right now is on fire. I'm a leasing expert and I want to take advantage of the car that I have and the market as it is, use my knowledge at the dealership to replace it. I think I can do it. The goals today are to go to CarMax and get a solid offer, make at least $5,000 on this car. I think we could do as good as 7,400 to be quite honest with you. Um, then we're gonna go, before we fin finalize the sale, we're gonna go down to, to the Honda dealership and try to pick up a new one. The payment on this one's $241 a month. My hope is to, to either match or beat that. So our, our minimum goal today is $5,000 in our pocket and a new Honda Accord with a $240 payment. Our stretch goal today is as much as $7,400 in our pocket and a new Honda Accord with a payment as low as maybe even $200, I'm hoping. We're gonna see what I'm able to do, follow along, come with me, I'll give you some tips at the end. This is not financial advice, this is just my experience. I wanna show you what I think I can do. Please, if you're interested, smash that like button, hit follow, and come along for the day. All right, guys, as you saw, part one's done. We got our offer from CarMax. We got an appraised value of $21,200. That'll be a $6,500 profit if we decide to sell the car. That's $1,500 over our $5,000 target. So I think we're doing pretty good. Let's head to the, the Honda dealership to see what we can find. Here it is, guys. Brand new 2021 Honda Accord. Fresh off the lot. Deals signed. The ink is wet and we're about to leave. I just wanted to show you the new car. We went with the silver. We got a really good deal with the dealership. Uh, very happy with the way this turned out. Never goes exactly the way you plan, but hey, we're still up. I'll come back with a little bit more details on the numbers here in a little bit. I just wanted to show you the car we're about to leave in. All right, guys, just to show you, there's the price of the car, 25,773. We got a 299 a month payment. You can see right there, 36 months. Over here, 3000 down. Once again, 299 a month. Pretty good deal considering. All right, we made it home. Brand new 2021 Honda Accord. So things don't work out ever exactly how you plan them. I had way overestimated my the money we might take home today. $5,000 was a little, little bit of an overambitious goal but we did come out ahead, we did make money, and I think this was a success, so let me tell you what happened. So we ended up getting $21,200 in trade from CarMax, that was a $6,500 profit on what we owed on the 2018 Honda Accord lease. We then went to the Honda, Accord dealer, the Honda dealership, we picked this out for 25,000. We ended up having to spend 3,000 down to get our payment down to where we wanted it, which is under $300. We got a $299 payment, which is still pretty good in today's market. Um, that starting price was also very good on this car. Um, so when you do the math and you net everything out, we ended up gaining about $1,500 and a brand new car. I mean, for a day's work, that's not bad. Um, we woke up this morning with the 2018. We finished the day. It's only the mid-afternoon. I got in and out of the dealership in about two hours. I told you I'm a leasing expert. I have some tricks. I know some people. I have a few connections. It does work out. Um, it did work. But, you know, $1,500, a new car. I couldn't be happier. Um, go ahead and smash that like button if you thought this was good content. I actually have an MDX that we're going to do this with next. So stay tuned for the next video. Hit subscribe and tune in next time. Thank you guys so much. Hey guys, if you're still watching, it's tip time. So I told you at the beginning of the video, I'd give you a few tips at the end. Now, I can't guarantee your results will be the same as mine, um, but if I had to give you any advice, never go to the dealership 
and pick out the car and then try to make the deal on the car you picked out. You always got to have the deal in mind and make the car fit the deal. So you tell the dealer straight up, I want this payment. What we, which car do we have to get and what terms do we have to come to to get to this payment? And that's all I'll accept. And you have to be prepared to walk if they don't have that car in the lot and they can't make that deal, it may not be possible. But you never wanna pick a car and test drive it and try to make you fall in love with the car. It's not about the car. The car you're there to get, you should already know about. You should already know if you like it. You should know the features. You don't need to test drive it. There's nothing to fall in love with. It's just a car. So if I had any advice, you never pick the car and then make the deal. You take the deal and say, make, find me a car that fits this deal. I hope you guys like that. Please hit that like button, hit subscribe. There'll be more things to come. Thanks a lot. I'll see you next time. Hey, what's up everybody? I wanted to follow up on yesterday's video where I took a car to CarMax and I traded it and then I went and got a new car and replaced it. It actually came ahead about $1,500. I took you along for the ride. If you want to take a look back and see how that went, that boats that video yesterday actually. And uh, today's Sunday. Took my daughter to the pool, went to the park and played. It was a great day um, after yesterday's fun. So I got to spend some family time, but I just wanted to come back today and actually give a little more detail about how that went down uh, for anybody who was actually interested in maybe trying that themselves. And once again, this isn't financial advice. This is just something, my experience, I'm sharing with you if you're interested. So a couple things I wanted to say was um, what you would need to know, it's important, is don't ever sell the car to CarMax first, right? So if you go there, you get the quote, you know how much it's worth, you leave it on their lot, and then you go to buy the new car, you definitely don't want to have already sold your car going to the dealership um, and put yourself in a position where you have to buy a car. That's the worst position you want to be in. So don't ever put yourself in that position. You may not find the car that you can buy, so you need to be able to walk. So if you've already sold your car, then you're sank, right? You have to buy whatever the dealer will sell you. So you're pretty much defeated the whole purpose there. So the problem that that puts you in now is like me yesterday, I had to pay $3,000, but I didn't have the CarMax money yet. So you have to have the money to pay the dealer if you need to, spend the money you're gonna make and then pay yourself back once you sell CarMax. So that's real important. You know, big advice, don't ever sell your car before you have a car to replace it in this scenario because, you know, what if I didn't find the car and I had already sold to CarMax? You know, great, I have $6,500 and now I have no car. So definitely don't want it to go that way. So um, that's number one. Um, another issue that you need to know about CarMax is they have to verify all this with your lender, right? So on Saturday when you go back after you bought your new car, you're not going to get paid that day either, most likely, unless your lender's available for them so they're gonna you have to go back during business hours you know on Monday or Tuesday probably the next week to get your money so it's gonna be a couple days um, but you know if you're able to do that in your position to put the money out and then get paid back which is what I was able to do um, it's definitely there to be done you know I showed you how to do it I did it myself I've got brand new car exact same would be paying before when fifteen hundred dollars up um, so it was awesome so but that's an important thing I wanted to, to clarify there too. So thank you guys.